The next tool we'll learn is the Line tool in Cork Express. Line tool is located towards the middle of your toolbox and it looks like just kind of a line with two points towards the end of it. Now what this will do is it will allow you to create any line that you want by clicking and dragging just like you would with a, um, a square or a text box. So I've clicked and I've dragged and I can move my mouse around and when I let up on my mouse you can see that I have the point uh, the, the line with two points endpoints around it. Additionally if I click on any of these endpoints I can move my line around if I didn't put it where I need it to be. Now just with uh, all the other things you can adjust where your line point is. The X1 and Y1 are the points on your page where the first point was and the X2 and Y2 are the last two points. So let's say I wanted my line to start right at one inch about and one inch and I wanted it to end right around nine inches and five inches. And so now when I clicked enter you can see my line jumped and it put it right at one inch down and one inch over and nine inches down and five inches over for there. Some additional uh, options that you have is you can change the width of your line. Right now it's set to one point and that's the default but if I wanted it slick, uh, thicker I can adjust the uh, W right here is set to one point but I can go uh, as high as I need be so these are some preset points so if I made it six point you can see my line is much bigger. If I set it to 0.25 or a quarter of a point it's a real real thin line even hairline is uh, much thinner than that. And it's rare that we'll use a hairline and it's usually set up as a guide but I can make it any size as well. <clears throat> Additionally I can change the color of my line by going over to my colors palette and you can see that I have all my colors set up so I can change it to any color that need be. The final thing you can do is to change the style of your line. The style of the line can be done um, using the little drop down menu that's located right beside your width in there. And so these are some predefined styles that Cork uh, has to offer. So if you just wanted a dotted line where it's all dots, you can change the style to that. And additionally, you can continue to move your line around and it will adjust the dots accordingly. Additionally, you can have dashes or dots and dashes. Oops. <clears throat> and it will uh, change it up to that style as well. Triple thickness, all different types. Some of these, uh, of course, to see them better, you'll have to adjust the size of it. So, if, for instance, I have it set to the triple thickness, but if you have it too small, of course, you won't be able to see that design. So you'll, some of these you may need to have a very thick line in order to see that style appear. But that's generally what the line tool can do. Additionally, if I chose my line tool, and you notice I click and I drag, if I wanted a straight line, I can always hold down my shift key, and it will lock into either the horizontal, or if I move up and down, the vertical position, or the 45 degree angle position. So as I move, you can see it's jumping to and from each of these different positions. The last thing I'll show you are the endpoints to your line. Let me make my point a little bit bigger so we can see it. The endpoints are different types of um, styles you can put, little arrow styles you can put on your line itself. So let's say you wanted a arrow on the right hand side, it'll add a little arrow to that end. Or if you wanted an arrow on the left hand side, Additionally, you can also add a little ending arrow to the arrow that's been created. And that's basically the uh, sets of tools using for the line in Cork Express.